welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Today is Tuesday for me, so that means I have been food shopping. I went to Lidl today because that's the only place I like to go. And this was actually the first time I have been food shopping since I, um, I was gonna say I broke my ankle. I didn't break my ankle. I had an operation on my ankle because I broke it, but it is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I have videos on that if you're interested. But anyway, today was the first time I've been back to the shops because I've just, you know, I wasn't able to drive and walk and all that stuff, but I'm feeling much better now so I can go back to doing my own shopping. I went to Lidl, as I said. Spent 55 pounds today, um, but I did have a five pound off voucher. There is a little book going about just now and it has a five pound off voucher if you can get hold of that. Sometimes they have them in the store too. So yeah, so I only actually spent like 50 pounds. It was actually like 49 pounds and some pennies. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I got a fair amount of stuff, not bad. There were some things I couldn't get today, such as tins of chickpeas and tins of kidney beans. They're my favorites, why did they not have any? Probably because I bought them off, but let's jump into the haul, guys. Here is everything that I bought. I feel like I'm very close. It's like not zoomed in, but I feel like it's very zoomed in. Um, yeah, this is everything that I got. So I like to, if you've never watched one of my hauls before, I like to show you a brief overview, which is what that was, and then like actually show you everything that I got. So we'll start over here at the fruits and veggies. I do try and like break it up. So we've got like fruits and veggies, fresh, freezer, cupboard stuff, um, non-food stuff, and then stuff that I put in my like storage. So let me show you. I have got three bags of Granny Smith apples. I tend to buy the Granny Smiths. Uh, I used to buy like two red, two green, because I don't really eat the red apples, the green ones, the Granny Smiths, they're, they're where it's at. And my fruit bowl is looking kind of lonely. I've not got a lot in it, just a couple of easy peelers and some kind of squishy um, kiwis. The kids might not eat these, so I think what I'll do is I'll peel these and put them in the freezer and chuck them in like a smoothie or something. And then ginger, ginger's so good. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so my fruit bowl is looking quite empty. It is a very large fruit bowl um so it looks extra empty but that's all good we're gonna fill it up some red seedless grapes a head of broccoli four pack of garlic bulbs carrots i got a fresh pineapple kids love that some blackberries i got these potatoes are king edward potatoes i don't know if we've had those before but they were the ones that had like the least amount of eyes on them the potatoes are always quite eye at Lidl, I think Aldi's potatoes are better, but I was at Lidl, so, you know, I bought Lidl potatoes. Some plums, mixed pack of peppers, got a lot of bananas. Well, I mean, to some people that's not a lot of bananas. We go through a lot of bananas and I normally buy the organic ones, not because I'm like, oh, I love organic food, because that's not true. Um, just because the ones that come in a bag that are organic are the only ones that are fair trade. These ones aren't fair trade, these are only Rainforest Alliance certified, not organic, and it, which I don't care about, but it's the fair trade that I like. But I really hate how they come in bags, like in plastic, when there's an option to buy them not in plastic. Like some things you just can't help but buy um, unless you go to like a market. We don't really have anything like that here, nothing like that local to us, um, which kind of sucks. But yeah, so I bought these ones, I went for these ones to save like two plastic bags so I don't know if that's helpful or beneficial I don't know but yeah that's what I did so I've got quite a few bananas um they will get eaten like super fast I tend to put them in smoothies and stuff and even then sometimes I don't even make it to the freezer and you should eat bananas when not when they look like this you should let them get more ripe they're better for your digestion some easy peelers medium oranges I don't know if I said peppers, but peppers. And then I got, these are just a bag of frozen raspberries, frozen blackberries, we put these in smoothies. I like the pineapple and mango, but they didn't have any. What's going on with Lidl? Some cucumbers, I hate how they put them in shrink wrap. Come on man, you don't need to put them in shrink wrap. Some romaine hearts, a bag of frozen peas. Then over here, this is my kind of freezer section and fridge section, and these, these strawberries, these made it over here um, somehow. <laughs> We've got a bag of curly fries and a three pack of cheese pizzas. I often make my own pizza, but I don't know, we've just been super busy and I just really can't be bothered if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, homemade pizza does taste so good, but I just can't be bothered. I've just got a lot of stuff going on at the moment, so the, but this stuff is actually very, very nice. It's very good. And then curly fries, so we have this like once a week. We have, I just cook up all the pizzas, 
curly fries and we have like pizza night. Um, some Yorkshire puddings. I don't have a roast on my meal plan for this week, but they're always handy to have. Some, and these ones by the way, these are just as good as the more expensive ones. These ones are like 50 pence. Definitely try them. Some Vitalite, this is the dairy free spread. This is my favorite dairy free, dairy free spread. And then two packs of fruity fromage fries for the kids. The strawberries that I mentioned and some rice cakes. These ones are just lightly salted, so they're good for just putting like, you know, as the picture shows, you could put something on it like that. Like that looks like probably soft cheese and cucumber. You could do that. Hummus is good on it. Sky just likes it like that. Um, she's the one that normally eats them. And then today, it's actually Thomas's birthday today, so happy birthday to Thomas. And his favorite, favorite kind of cake is a carrot cake. It is his favorite carrot cake and red velvet. Nobody else really loves carrot cake. He adores. If you guys go to Costco, they have a huge, huge, huge one in Costco and it's like 10 pounds or thereabouts. And it's great, it's huge, it's humongous. And Thomas really enjoys it, so it's delicious. But he's the only one in the house that eats it. So, you know, you see where I'm going with this. It doesn't, like nobody eats it and it goes to waste. But this, it says surf six. So he, I'll give everybody a slice, everybody will try it, but he'll be the only one that really will eat it. So we've got that for his birthday. Some whole grain rye crisp breads. Not tried these before, well, these particular ones. So I thought they'd be good, again, for Sky. She likes, as I said, like hummus. She would eat them with avocado on it. That would be right up her street, not the prawns, though. And then three cartons of unsweetened soy milk. This is just the little brand. I put it in smoothies, porridge, overnight oats, past the dishes, all that. And it's, it's perfectly fine. 59 pence a, a bottle or a carton. Bargain. Then I got two packets of, these are just the plain bagels. They do these ones and the cinnamon raisin. Well, I don't have any cinnamon raisin. Don't know what's up with little. And then we got two packets or two loaves of bread rather, should I say. Some milk chocolate digestives. And then the kids really like these. These are just like cheese crackers. Then I got this spread. This is, um, like Biscoff, if you've tried Biscoff spread before, it's the same, but it's Lidl's version. It is delicious. Thomas really likes it in his overnight oats. I got this for the cupboard, carrot and cori coriander soup. I don't know if anybody eats that apart from Thomas. Maybe it's the carrot thing, <laughs> but he really likes it, so keep a tin in for him. Some chopped tomatoes. I got some, this is like diluting juice, or it says squash, but we would call this diluting juice. What would you guys call it? Two boxes of the cheesy macaroni pasta. We call this red box pasta in our house. It's kind of like similar idea if you're watching from across the pond to kind of like craft mac and cheese. It's it's that stuff. It's not the best stuff for you. And then I got these. Sky really likes these. These are good for when she comes home from swimming. This makes one bowl full of pasta and she will eat all of it, which it says is 430 calories or so. And she swims for at least two hours a session and they also like stretch before it and stuff so she swims a lot so something like this is really good just to fill her up because she needs a lot of carbs because of the amount of swimming that she does and then talking about carbs <laughs> nice transition i got i think i got six packets of these mini tortilla wraps which feels excessive feels excessive but we're going to have tacos one night um, and if everybody eats like two or three tacos, I, I don't think I'll be having them. I think I'll just have potatoes and lettuce. Um, but if, cause I'm back on my potato diet, uh, but if everybody has like two to three, these little mini wraps, little, little mini tacos each, that's between the four of them, my husband and three kids, that's anywhere from like eight to 12 pa uh, wraps. So I would need two packets for that. So I got that. And then I'm going to make taquitos. Um, I'm not going to fry them. I'm just going to bake them in the oven. So again, I need a little mini wraps for that. And then I'm making an enchilada casserole, which looks good. It's literally like you would make enchiladas, but instead of like putting the mixture in each enchilada and then pouring the sauce on, you kind of layer it like a lasagna kind of thing. So that looks good. So yeah, I just got quite a few of these and these don't go out of date. This one's the 24th of April. This one's the 26th of April, 26th, 24th. So these don't really go out of date for a couple of weeks. So if I don't use them all this week, they'll get used. We have hardly any food waste. I'm quite hot on food waste 
because why throw your money away? <laughs> That's bad. Um, and then I got these like Pringles because I was hungry in the shop. So, you know, you shouldn't shop when you're hungry. <laughs> and we ate half a packet on the way home. Also missing some cashews that the kids ate in the car on the way home too. And then I got some baby wipes. So this is like my non-food stuff. I got baby wipes. You'll be like, Paula, you don't have a baby. <laughs> I know, but baby wipes are actually very handy to keep in the car because when we were at the supermarket um getting this shopping a lady was on her phone and she wasn't watching what she was doing and she stuff fell out her trolley including like a two liter carton of milk and it burst obviously when it hit the ground and we were standing right next to her um and i actually was like so angry like i didn't get any on me but her gale was covered in it, it was all over his face, all over his glasses, all over his body, it was just everywhere. And she's like, oh sorry. And I'm just thinking, you've just covered my kid in blooming milk. But anyway, I didn't have any baby wipes in the car, and I normally do, so I was like, oh, baby wipes, <laughs> when I go in the shop. So I got them, um, some bleach for the toilet. I have tried lots of different bleach. Um, this is not a sponsor, but Lido Man, hit me up, we should do something together. <laughs> when she, when she you sort your shop out and get some stuff in stock. Um, but yeah, like I have tried loads of different brands of bleach and this is my favourite. It's like 50 or 60 pence for a bottle and it's always that price. So it's not like you need to wait for it to go on, like, on offer for like a pound and then stock up. No, it's just always that price. That's what I really like about Lidl. Everything's always the same price. Like sometimes they do like 10 pence off something or whatever. But generally it's always the same price, the same low price. But anyway, tried loads of different bleaches and this one, this one is the best. I really like it. Then we got some washing up liquid and Lidl, as well with their vitamins, if I remember to swallow, they have brought like such a, they've got such a really good range of vitamins at the moment. Like they used to just have like a general multivitamin, but now they have, this is like a vitamin B mix. They have a multivitamin that's got loads of different stuff in it as opposed to just like a regular vitamin i don't know it's hard to explain it's like a multivitamin but it's got b and vitamin d and stuff in it which are really good for you and then they have separate like vitamin c iron kind of all that thing but i really quite rate their vitamins these were like 99 pence or something or 150 like they were less than two pound i think they were like a pound and you get 90 in it that's amazing amazing and then this is stuff for my food cupboard if you don't know what that means i keep a cupboard with extra food in it so that if anything was to happen like we got snowed in because it was snowing here this morning um but if we got snowed in or like thomas lost his job and we didn't have any money like we can use we have savings and stuff but then you can use your savings to pay for your other expenses um you know, such as your house your bills your car all that kind of thing but anyway so i keep a stock pile of food so that if anything like that, like that was to happen i have food in my house um, so yeah, <laughs> so I got these roasted and salted peanuts. These are not my favourite. They're not delicious. <laughs> like they're all right. Um, they are very cheap. They're only 48 pence for this bag. I do think the more expensive ones taste nicer, but these are just really good for putting in your cupboard kind of thing. Because nuts are very high in calories, so just a small amount of nuts will sustain you for a while. And then I got a box of that macaroni, a tin of that soup, I got this because they didn't really have any beans or anything. It's mixed taco beans. It was like 49 pence. Put it in the food cupboard. I got this like fake pot noodle. I've never tried this before so I don't know if this is nice or if this is going to be horrible. So my plan is to get one, try it, see if it's nice. They were like 30 pence. If it's nice, can buy a few and keep them in the cupboard because these would be good if, for instance, say you... Oh, somebody's shouting. <laughs> if you lost like power to your house or something, these would be good because you could just heat these up with boiling water. So you might be like, Paula, how will you get a boiling water? We do have camping stoves and stuff that you could heat water up in and then like there's no cooking as such. So yeah, that was my thoughts on that. And then some garden peas. And then I got these for the dog. These are sardines and sunflower oil. Um, because I don't really feed her dog food. Like I make all her dog food anyway on a day-to-day -day basis. Um... But obviously I can't really store that stuff in the, in the cupboard because it's like I use beef and veggies and stuff like that. So this, this would be good for her. That is my haul done guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of everything I bought. Do you think I got good prices? Do you think this is good for like £55? I paid like £50. But what do you guys think? 
let me know. The comments will probably still be off because YouTube, I don't know, <laughs> what is YouTube's deal? But I will put a link to my latest Instagram post and you guys can go over to my Instagram and you can comment on one of the pictures if you have a comment you'd like to share for this video. So thanks very much guys and I will see you tomorrow. Mm.